Welcome back to our channel, Kentucky Fried Fun, and welcome if you are new. Today, I am going to be cleaning our Airbnb and taking down the Valentine's decor that I have set up in there. I will be doing a second part to this where I go upstairs in our living area and do some cleaning as well as take down the Valentine's decor up there as well. And that video will actually be coming out on Friday, so be sure you are subscribed and have your little bell clicked so that you don't miss out on some more cleaning motivation. Also, while you are down there, please be sure to like this video. That just lets me know that you like to see cleaning motivation videos on my channel. I know that is one thing I absolutely love to watch on YouTube. It gives me motivation to clean, and a lot of times I don't actually even sit there and watch them. I just have them playing in the background for the music while I clean, and it, I get awesome tips from other ladies here on YouTube, and that is why I fell in love with YouTube, so that is one thing I absolutely love to share on my channel. And also, you have seen me go around the bathroom and spray down some scrubbing bubbles. That is my all-time favorite bathroom cleaner. And then I just sprinkled some Comet into the toilet. That's what my mom did growing up, and so it's, I've continued doing it. It seems to last a long time. Also, I just sprayed some generic glass cleaner on the mirror, and now I'm just going through and wiping everything down. Since this is down in our Airbnb, I like to go ahead and set out a towel or however many for guests we are having and then a toilet paper roll and I always like to fold the triangle. I do have other videos where I show more closely how I fold the triangle if you would like to check those out. And then I'm just putting out a hand towel for them as well as I like to make sure I have at least four washcloths, maybe more just depending on how many guests I have. And now I'm just going into the bedroom portion portion of our Airbnb and taking off the comforters, the sheets, and remaking the beds with clean sheets. And a, another trick that I learned from my mom, as well as also doing when I worked at a hotel while I was in college, is the hospital corners, which you'll see me doing here in a second. And I also have a video where I do do that more closely, and I just like it because it gives that finishing touch, as well as just make sure it's tucked nicely at the end. <laughs> Also, for our Airbnb guests, and I think this is an excellent tip for a guest room in general, is we have two types of pillows. We have one that is more firm and one that is more on the softer end because everyone likes a different pillow. Granted, they may bring their own, but I think it is just a nice extra touch. And 
And here with a snap of my fingers, I have already made the other bed and I don't have a clip of it made. Oops. Oh well, I did make the other bed, but now I am moving on into the kitchenette and I'm just using some Method All Purpose Spray and the, I think it's like the apple, crisp apple scent. And I'm just using that to go ahead and wipe down the mini fridge and then the other appliances in there. I will also be taking out the Valentine's Day mug and uh, putting the coffee stirs in another little glass container that you will see me searching for because I couldn't find it. I didn't remember where I had put it last. Continuing on with the dusting, I'm moving over to what I like to call our little office area where I just keep like a, a guest book as well as like a little calendar and just a notebook with general information for the guests. And while I am there, I'm also just going through and crossing off days and marking down any more guests that we have coming. When I am dusting down here, especially on days where it's like one night bookings like straight in a row, I don't necessarily dust every single thing just because I literally probably dusted it the day before. But I do like to go through and try and get all the touch points where like with the lamp and then you, like here with the clock I'm actually changing it because we had a guest from France and so I'm assuming the time was set in France time because it was definitely not our time but anyways and I also will be moving on into the living, living room portion and I always like to wipe down the TV as well as even the remotes and just any other portion that guests might touch. Now that I have everything dusted, I'm just getting out my vacuum. You may notice if you have followed me for any time that I do also have a Dyson, but I like to use my Shark downstairs. I just feel like it's more industrial and I, I don't know, I like it's my work vacuum. <laughs> Anyways, you'll notice I'm also changing out the trash and putting in a new bag and just watch and see how long that trash bag actually stays attached to the vacuum. I was trying to be uh, time efficient here and not have to take the bag back out. Anyways, so now I'm just vacuuming the hole downstairs. You also may notice there over at the end that there are still some vacuum lines, so the guests probably didn't really go over there much. But each time uh, we have a checkout, I do like to make sure I do vacuum, and I also will spot vacuum the couch. Sometimes I do go over the whole couch. And also you'll see that big empty basket is where we like to keep blankets for guests, but currently they are all needing to be cleaned, so I will need to get on that. I have a lot of laundry to do. But anyways, back to vacuuming. After I had finished vacuuming, I realized I had forgotten some Valentine's decor in there, so I went ahead and took that down as well as grabbed my cleaner and my tablet. And I hope that y'all enjoyed watching me clean today. If you did, please be sure to leave this video a big thumbs up and like I said, be sure you are subscribed and have that little bell clicked for the rest of this cleaning video that will come out on Friday. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all have a blessed day and I will see y'all later. Bye! So let me lose her.